Joining us now, Congressman Jody Arrington of Texas, who is the brand new chair of the House Budget Committee. We have three new chairs on the show today. We're very grateful for that. Uh, Ways and Means, Budget and Education is coming up. Jody, welcome. One of the things that's great, um, you wrote an op-ed piece not too long ago about a pro-growth balanced budget. And I thought you could um, expand on that because I think that's just what the doctor ordered. Well, that's right. Uh, we've got to reduce spending, uh, but we also have to grow the economy. They work in tandem to reduce our relative debt to the size of the of our economy. This this is about our ability to pay our bills, to uh, service our debt, and um, have the funds to to make sure that the core functions of government, like defense, are adequately funded. But but the biggest threat outside of the existential threats like China and the immediate threats that you were talking about uh, earlier with respect to our open border is a sovereign debt crisis mm. where uh, people, our investors and creditors, lose confidence in our ability to repay. And so you would have the dollar as the world currency uh, wrecked. We would have to go to the well of high taxes and austerity it would be a very bleak and abysmal situation economically, from a national security standpoint, and quite frankly, our standard of living in America as we know it. So uh, it's a real threat, and I'm glad that my colleagues have confidence in me to lead the charge to restore fiscal sanity in Washington, D.C. You know, Jody, if you, if you can push a budget resolution to start the regular order process. Okay. If you can push that, that has the spending cuts and the tax cuts and maybe the regulatory relief as well, if you can get dynamic scoring put into the mix, then I think you can pull it off. But I think if you let the CBO or the Democrats block you and keep it on a static basis, then it won't be a pro-growth budget. It'll become an austerity anti-growth budget because they'll say, yeah, we should get rid of the debt by raising taxes. And raising taxes will depress the economy. And a depressed economy um, will actually lose revenue. So you'll have an even more unbalanced budget. You see what I'm saying? The, the Absolutely. importance of the dynamism and the incentive model is so key, Jody. No question. And as you know, after the pro-growth policies that President Trump and Republicans put in place with respect to lower taxes, lower regulation, new trade like USMCA and the like, we saw the economy growing. We saw record tax receipts at mm -hmm. Treasury. Today, there's a trillion more tax receipts coming in than prior to COVID. But even in 19, we had record high revenue. So this isn't a revenue problem. It is bending the spending and the deficit spending curve while continuing to grow or at least to implement the pro-growth policies that get the current economy off high center. You're certainly not going to get anywhere with these anti-work, anti-fossil energy tax and spend policies. That is just keeping us on this sustained stagnation and dependence. And, and that's a disaster relative to where the debt is today and our ability to pay it and the risks which will increase our payments on interest, Larry, which mm. are at half a trillion today. Yep. In 10 years, they'll be over yep. a trillion more than we spend on defense. Well, Jody Arrington, congratulations on becoming uh, the chair of the Budget Committee. We look forward to working with you a lot. Best of luck. Thanks so much. Thank you. God bless, Larry. All right. God bless you.